Starting with the first antenna, use a key provided to unlock all locks, then open the radome hatch. There are a few jobs that need to be done inside the antenna. Let's look inside before we perform them. You will need to, one, remove the azimuth shipping brackets. Two, remove the shipping foam held on by cable ties. Three, remove the elevation shipping brackets. Number four, connect the cables. Remove the azimuth shipping bracket bolts, then detach the bracket. Using a pair of side cutters, remove the cable ties, then remove the cross-level shipping foam. Remove the elevation shipping bracket bolts, then detach the bracket. Insert the LAN cable through the cable gland and connect into the LAN port. Insert the two RF cables through the cable gland and connect them to the TX and RX ports. The antennas can be ordered for an AC or DC power configuration. Depending upon your configuration you ordered, have your local electrical engineer connect the power cables to the antennas. Run the power cables through the cable gland and connect into the electrical box. Use a cable tie to secure the cable in place. Once all cables are connected, fully tighten the outside compression nuts. Repeat the steps to connect the second antenna. Unbox the modem. Add the modem brackets to the bottom of the modem. Attach the modem assembly to the taller of the two poles. Combine the modem with the modem installation cover. Attach the modem installation cover assembly to the modem lower assembly. The modem is now assembled. Now let's connect the cables. You want to make sure to connect the cables to the correct ports for correct operation. On the back of the modem, you will connect the RF cables from both antennas. RF in is for the RX cables and RF out is for the TX cables. The antenna on the tool pole where the modem is mounted is classed as antenna one, while the antenna mounted on the shorter pole closest to the equator is classed as antenna two. Go ahead and connect the RF cables for each antenna. Ensure all RF cables are firmly seated and tightened. When connecting the front cables, it is important that the LAN cables are assembled correctly within their IP rated connectors. Connect antenna one LAN port to port two. Connect antenna two LAN port to port three. Connect the DC power cable into the modem. Finally, connect the customer connection into the modem. Ensure cables are firmly seated and tightened. They must be watertight. Secure all cables with cable ties. The installation is complete. Once the installation is complete, power on both antennas. The antennas will automatically search for the MIO arc and connect to the SES M-Power system.